Hey everyone, all right, so gonna be quick today. Um, yesterday I was working on a total rewrite of kentcdods.com um, for obvious reasons. Um, and one of the things that I'm doing is, starting this repo first, is um, uh, using Gatsby. And I'm also being converted over to TypeScript uh, slowly but surely. And um, so as I was setting this up, I, I got the Gatsby TypeScript plugin to work, and that was actually really great, um, really easy. Um, that, <clears throat> but uh, they don't actually do any type checking when they build. They uh, just treat it sort of like Flow, how it's just a Babel plugin. They just use the Babel preset. So you miss out on a couple features, but that's actually how I prefer uh, to use TypeScript anyway. I kind of One of the things that I really liked about Flow was that it wasn't invasive on my entire workflow, but that it just added type checking to my code. And then I could use the, all the other tools that I liked. Um, so anyway, I was, I was pleased that the Gatsby plugin worked that, works that way. Um, and uh, yeah, so I was thinking, okay, so I need to run this so I can use TSC um, to, to do that. But um, I thought, hey, let's just try out the, um, the uh, just runner TypeScript. Um, so I, I looked around, found this, and yeah, let's uh, see what it's like. So we've got ESLint and Chess and TypeScript in here. Um, and I'm gonna add a, a source example.ts. And here we'll have a function called add that takes a a, which is a number, and a b, which is another number, and it returns a plus b. All right, cool. So now um, let's do add a type check, and that'll be tsc. Um, and I'm going to need to add a tsconfig.json. And here we're going to go compiler options, and um, I um want no emit because i'm going to be using babel presumably to to build this stuff so we'll say no em emit is true um i that's probably i think that's all and then i want include um and this will be source star 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 so include all the things and now if i run npx tsc then it should yeah sweet so if i have an error here where we say, uh, here we'll export default add, and then we'll say add um, one and two, and that is a compiler error, so it should, um, yeah, I get an error, sweet. Okay, so let's see what we could do to um, have tests. So like with tests, I'm gonna have a jest script here, I'll probably have watch, and then whoa, and then I'll have a test uh, or a cover, That'll be just coverage. Okay, and then I'll have a just config.js here. And in here, I'll module exports equals um, this object that has, um, yeah, we'll configure that in a little bit. We'll add a test um, example.ts. And we'll import add from example ts. And then we'll test add works. And we'll say add one and two. We'll expect that to be three. And we're getting some errors here um, because I need TypeScript just so I'll yarn. I'm also switching to yarn, I think. Ah, don't ask me why. I'll, I'll blog about it. I promise you, I'll blog about all these, uh, <laughs> these things that I'm changing and explain why I'm changing it and everything. Just be patient. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to switch to yarn. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do yarn add uh, types just. Uh, here, we'll want that to be a dev dependency dev for sure. Whoa. And with that, sweet, we're all set there. Um, and actually, um, another thing I'm going to do here is I'll add types. And we'll say just here. Now, it picked up the just types automatically. And if I didn't say just here, then I'm going to get a compiler error. And it's like, hey, that's I can't find it. The reason is, once you specify types, then TypeScript will no longer automatically include the types that are found in the at types directory in node modules. And um, we need those because some of these do some global uh, like um, definitions that should apply all over. And so. 
um, we have to say, yes, well, you might wonder, hey, why don't you just remove that? And then it'll automatically go in there. Well, I haven't been using TypeScript for very long, but somebody who um, has said that it actually can be a little unpredictable to have just random types, uh, global types being included all over the place. So it's better to be explicit. And they say that they actually will do nothing. Uh, like that's their default configuration. Um, so uh, I'm going to go with the people who have experience here. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to say, oh, Google is like, did you say, okay, me? I said, okay, now. Nothing. Okay. So now we're going to say NPM run test. And we're getting a bunch of errors. Oh, right. Because this isn't a git repo git in it. And oh, whoops, my bad. VS code is like, hey, you forgot a git ignore node modules. Like, I can't track all those node modules. Okay, let's try that again. NPM run test. All right. And we don't have anything that matches the test thing. So let's go ahead and configure that. Test match. Um, yeah, let's see. Our test match is going to be star star. Or let's see, source. No, no, we'll just do star star. Test star 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 dot. And then we'll accept JS or TS or TSX. I don't know. Seems like a good idea to me. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll run that. Whoops. I have an alias NRT runs NPM run test. Um, boo. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me just quicken this up a little bit. Quicken. Okay. Open. So I've got my config over here that I'm just going to borrow really quick. Huh. I think I might need to do this root dir, maybe. It, hmm. Watch. Oh. Huh. I don't know what's wrong. All right, somebody tell me what's wrong. Do -do -do -do. Somebody asked me if I'll update KCD scripts to support TypeScript. Probably. Um, if I really actually decide I'm going to be doing TypeScript everywhere, then yeah, probably. Um, Okay, yeah, I don't know. Rats, what's going on? What is wrong with this glob? Somebody tell me what's wrong. Um, actually, Green Pulp just mentioned that I got a shiny new haircut. I actually didn't. Um, I was going to get a haircut yesterday, so maybe you're watching this in the future. Um, well, golly gee, I don't know what is going on here. This really puts a damper on things, though. Test match. Yeah, so the test match is getting in there properly. My tests, no, my tests. Ah, this is ruining everything. Okay, we're going to do just JS so we can get the default. We'll just leave this. Oh, boo. Um, ah, crap. Okay, so let's. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll say add.js. We're going to make a JS file. Um, I'll figure out this, uh, why my type script, uh, you know what? No, 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 we'll, we'll get this. We'll make this work. I just have to hurry because I've got my daughter's thing to go to today. So we're going to, uh, yarn add babel, whoops, at babel core and at babel type script preset. Uh, what? And those are going to be dev. Goodness gracious. Okay, so you probably have noticed sometimes when I'm typing in here that things get really out of whack. If you know why that's happening, let me know because it is crazy frustrating. Look at that. Why am I on what I, I like right over the same line as I type? If it gets too long, it'll go back and right over the same line instead of dropping down a line. Super, super annoying. It might have something to do with this emoji thing. I don't know, but I'm not getting rid of the emo emoji, so... Okay, what is this? What is this even? 
Reset TypeScript. There we go. Reset TypeScript. Lulu. Uh, so King Daro is saying, actually, maybe just use TSGest. I don't want to use TSGest. I want to rely on Babel. Uh, kind of explained that a little bit at the beginning. Um, but I, I'm sorry, I'm not jumping full on into the TypeScript ecosystem. I'm not doing TSLint. I like ESLint. Um, yeah, all that stuff. OK, cool. So now I'm going to add a Babel RC, where here I'm going to say presets um, Babel uh, preset uh, TypeScript. OK, so then I can say, well, also yarn add dev Babel GUI. So I can make sure that I can actually compile this thing. And we're going to move this to TS again. I think I'm some um, so many people are showing me like multiple variations of my test match that might work. So I'll try some of those. OK, sweet. So now if I say Babel um, source test example.ts, it should work. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. Um, and rather than. Ah, that's interesting. Oh, it doesn't compile the imports and exports. Uh, we're going to just module exports equals that, and we'll just require const add equals require. And we'll, oh, yeah. So we need to install yarn add types node. OK. And then we'll go into our TS config. And King Daro said that he's actually, he or she, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Uh, they um, have never seen anybody use TypeScript this way. So there you go. People use tools differently. Uh, OK, sweet. So now if we run this, we're all set. And uh, this isn't yelling at us anymore. Um, yeah, want us, wants us to do that. Cannot redeclare. Oh, right. Boo. Okay, somebody tell me how I can avoid that. I guess I can avoid that by doing um, import statements. Ah, ah, fine. Okay, we're gonna yarn add dev babel preset env, and then I'll go to my ts or my uh, babel rc, and we'll add babel preset env, and we'll say targets. Um, node parent. Thank you for fixing that for me. Okay, so then if I go babble that, and if we do export default, and then we'll um, yeah import add from example.ts. Yeah. Okay, so then I don't have to do that. Ha. Huh. Okay, so then. If I run it, it should get rid of the export. But oh, we want uh, sample. There we go. Hooray. OK, sweet. So we've got our Babel configured. Let's get this test match working. Test match. Um, OK, so I'm going to grab this. Green Pulp is asking a question that is will come be answered later when I've actually got this working. Uh, OK. Um, I don't like JSX or MJS. We'll do TSX. There we go. OK, just watch all. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's not finding the file. That's the weirdest thing. What if we just do .ts? Now oh, there's some magic stuff going on. Boo! OK, anyway, we're going to pretend that is working, I guess. Um, ah, that's so frustrating. Here, I'm going to add a uh, test.js here. And we'll test. 
works expects true to be true. And then we'll get rid of this. Okay, so some for some reason that's not working, but I can make it run a test and that's all that really matters for what I wanted to show you anyway. Well, uh, okay, now I gotta get the Babel Bridge. Ah, this is so dumb, I'm so sorry. I, I might have to jump out actually because I've gotta go to my daughter's thing, but um, Babel, Babel core at the 07 bridge, there we go. Yarn add dev. See, this is why we, we use toolkits so we don't have to deal with all this garbage. Just needs to be updated to Babel 7, that's why we have to do this. Okay. Now, it will work. No. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to to quit. I got to go. But uh I'll I'll just explain the reasons behind this and uh Ah, it's so annoying. So with Jest, it has this really cool feature called projects that allows you to have multiple configurations and it'll run them all. And it'll all work in the same watch mode. It'll all, um, like you'll be able to, uh, it, it has the same features of like, if you change this file and this file depends on that, then it'll run the test for that and all of that stuff. It's all just amazing. Really, really cool features there. Um, and it runs them in parallel and all that magic. So the reason that I, uh, I, I haven't decided that this is the best way to do this. I'm not recommending this to you, but um, I'm just playing around with it. And I think of that it's a cool idea because um, I think potentially in a big project, this actually might be really fast um, because it's just um, just as optimized that so much that they can run a bunch of tasks in parallel. Um, and uh, yeah, being able to to like have a watch mode and run on a specific file could be really nice rather than having just this giant output of all the errors or whatever. Um, I realize that your IDE probably has like really nice um, things going on. Um, and so you, you may, maybe you don't need that. Maybe I don't need that. Um, so I'm just playing around with it. Um, and this is where I, I beg you, please don't take the things that I say and just assume that that's what I'm doing or that that's what... Um, you should be doing most of the I, I'm a very public learner and so as I'm learning I'm playing around with different things that may or may not be a good idea once I make a course about it um, and I like publish that and you, you're either paying for it or it's on egghead.io or something once I have done that that is when you can uh, believe that oh okay Kent has tried this he thinks it's a good idea and you should do it too um, but when I'm just playing around, when I'm tweeting about stuff, when I'm um, live streaming, whatever, um, I'm just playing around and stuff. So like I'm maybe I am doing something really that's not smart um, and that you shouldn't do as well. Um, either way, don't judge me. <laughs> OK, um, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going on uh, with this stuff. Sorry that it didn't work out today and uh, maybe I'll figure it out and try it tomorrow. But I got to go. So I will see you all later. Thanks.